in this video, I show you uh, quickly about the Brooks method to do the resource allocation problem. Similar to uh, series method, we calculate the uh, information for critical path uh, precedent diagram means method that I mentioned. And for the Brooks method, just like go to quick reviews. First, determine the active values, the difference between the completion date and the late start of each activities. If activity has already started, the highest priority is given to that activity, so it try to be not interrupted. If two activities have the same active value, the highest priority is given to activity with the least total flow. So it means that when it least total flow, that activity tend to be uh, near critical uh, and less flexible compared to the other activities that have higher total flow. So with that, the new concept that we introduce is active. The difference between the completion date and the late start of each activity. So let's go back to this one. The one I put down here, uh, the green one here, is stand for the active by the duration of the project, 16 days, minus the late start of each activity, so 16 minus activity A late start, uh, based on this late start here, 0, so 16 minus 0 equals 16, uh, activity B, 16 minus 1 for B, late start of B, so 15, C, late start is 7, 16 minus 7 is 9, similarly, we have the active for all activities. And then you record that in the pros by ranking uh, list the activities in this case from A to M in the first row. So that easy copy from the uh, network. Active is already determined. Rank the activities from the highest active to the lowest. So A, B, it don't need to be the next one is C, but E is the, the the next highest uh, active 11 compared to C9 or D10, so you put E first, D, so rank by the, uh, put in the order uh, by the, from the highest active to the lowest active, and you can see in the first two rows of the probe, so that should be easy for you. And then uh, keep copy the next row, next row, copy the same uh, from the first row to the second row. Durations, just put it uh, from the given in the information, A have one day, B have four days, etc. The next row, for, row four, you can be able to put in. Uh, preceded by or the predecessor, so it means activity A, no. Uh, activity B, you have A at uh, predecessor, C, A at predecessor, you can do that for other activity. Uh, some activity have two predecessors, you can put that in. So yes, one preceded by is based on the uh, CPM, uh, the method, which one is uh, predecessor of the activity listed in that row, right? So B here, you have A activity. E, you have B activities. Uh, D, have B uh, uh, predecessor, etc. Material uh, need this, in this case, the mention M and helper, A, H, so you can put it out. Based on the activity A, we need 2M and 1H, so 2, 1, B, same, E, again, not C, C over here, right, C in the mm. column here, so 3, 0, etc. So yes, one, it also mm. easy, list out what is given in your schedule. And now, uh, continue uh, the another two rows that you can put in what is the resource constraint in this case the problem give you uh, five mentions and two helpers so you can put in this row mention available helper available so five two five two five two etc so that what we have in uh, that rows and now the blue one is one a little bit tricky that we need to uh, focus on. Take a deep breath and focus on yes. 
and it you know it, when you know one or two patterns uh, iteration you can uh, repeat the same for the rest we start time start always zero start first one is zero here okay and of course the time now is also zero so when you spurs always put zero on that one so time now is zero go down to here you see what activity is ready only activity a is because a have no predecessor what activity is scheduled you only have one choice so of course you schedule that activity immediately at time zero time now is zero on the first column here you see on the first column here Time now is zero. And when A is scheduled, we have mention in use two and helper in use one for activity A. Where that number come from? When you have A, you just copy that from here. Okay? From A needed. And then when you time now is zero, you go back to here, you say I only uh, have activity A. And A already is scheduled, so we have zero time start. Activity A duration is one given, so you can add zero plus one duration equal to one. Time finish is one. So now when the time finish to one, you move that one to the uh, move down to here. Time now is one. After time finish is one, move down to the next column of time now which is one so when it one go down first right so when you have one in time finish move to the next column but the below time now is one and move down to here what activity is ready after a because uh, predecessor a a at predecessor, it follow B, uh, after that A, B, and C. So you see that A completed after day one. So time now is one. So I have B, C uh, already. Which one we can schedule? We need to go to priority of active. Between B and C, B have the active is 15, which it have the higher priority. And B require two mention and one resources, which is available. So we have B schedule. And C can also be scheduled in this case because we only need two mention and two helpers. If C, for example, need four mentions, zero helpers, then you have say B21. And then C40, so it become uh, 6, 1. We don't have enough mention. But in this case, the problem gives you 2, 1, 4. And so that's why you can schedule B and C at the same time starting day 1. Okay, time now is 1. So that you have that here, B, C. And add the mention in use for B and C from this activity that you schedule. So you have 4, 2. And with that BC, with the BC schedule, you go to the column B and column C, right? Column with activity C. So go to column B. I have copy time now one and time now one you schedule BC. So move that one to the one in time start for B because you already schedule on time now one. So move that one into B. So and one plus four of duration B, you have five. And you already schedule C for uh, time now one. So you move that one to C. And then one plus two duration of C, you have three. So that, uh, that where you get the information for B and C. So that completed. And now uh, between B and C that you completed, you have five time finishes. C is three is time finish, you get the minimum of those two. Get the minimum of those two. Move down to the move down to the third column in, in the time now. So you have zero, one, and three. Because between B and C, three and five. So you have get the minimum three. And when day three is mean activity C completed, but B is still in progress. So with that we have 
uh, what activity are ready. Be still in progress. We put it first because when it already started, give that priority. F, G H because C completed and you know, uh, F G H E ready. So you put that ready in here, and then when it's ready, of course, B still in the process. Get that done first. So B still activity schedule and C between F G H which one should be able to schedule uh, at time now 3 as well so let's see F G H which one had priority F G H so as you can see from this order G has priority because the active is 7 compared to F is 6 and H is 5 so if I schedule G I need uh, how many resources 3 and 0 3 mentioned and 0 helpers 3 mentioned G no 1 and 2 this is F G we have 7 so between G F H G have priority and um, mention is 1 helper is 2 if I schedule with activity B, then uh, activity B is two mention and one helpers. And activity G is one mention and two helpers. If we schedule activity G as well, then uh, the helper is I need a three. Why are I only have two? So that's why you need to go to the next activity, which is F. And with F, we have three zero. Is it perfectly uh, enough for both mention and helper? That's why I schedule F first before G. So F G, and that we have five mention and one helper. And then with that we have F. So you get go to the F column. Day now is three, because that three I schedule F below here, right? So I put three plus the duration of F is three, so it will be six. And now I have C done, A done, uh, B and C, uh, C done. Uh, now I have B and F, B and F. And D finish is 5, F finish is 6. So I get the minimum just like before between C and F, 3 and 5. Now 5 and 6, so I move minimum 5. Day 5, when B is finished. And so when B is finished, I have F still in progress, ready. GH before. Uh, and then B, day 5, B is finished, I have DE. DE ready, B finished, DE ready. So with that, we have 5 activity ready to start. But which one I get priority? F will be the first priority because it's already started. Then I consider the the G H D E G H D E, which one have the highest uh, active G H D E active E D G H. So you see the E go first. Eleven high effective uh, material needed is three zero three zero. And I already have F is 3, 0. And you can see here, we need to have F. But if I put E in, also 3, 0, it will be have 6 mentions I need. Why I only have 5? I cannot do that. I go to the next priority, which is activity D. And D is 1, 0. 1, 0. Plus F is 3, 0. So 4, 0. It's still good. I can go another one. Uh, between G and H, G and H, G and H, G have pr higher priority and resource needed is 1, 2. So add them with the F and D that I already scheduled on day 5. So I will have still be able to get 5 mentioned, uh, 3, 4, F. 3, 4, F, 1, 4, D, and 1, 4, G. And I have two helpers, 0, 4, D, 0, 4, F, 2, 4, G. 
so you have that five two and you keep continue to uh, go out here five so D you will schedule you put five on this start G also five you put C start F already uh, consider so you add the duration four for E ten uh, five plus four equal nine select the minimum of the time finish of pre activity that you schedule at DG at DG you have uh, F is six D is this is six and G is nine so you will select the minimum is six six nine six so you select six when it's six it means activity D and activity F is completed and then you can see what activity ready what is can be scheduled and do etc the same process until you finish schedule all the activities